Have you tried using Google Tasks but found it lacks the necessary functionality? I'm David Stjernholm and today in the Structure Podcast Done, I'll share what you can do to enjoy using Google Tasks more. But first, to improve your work days and create a more enjoyable and productive work experience, consider envisioning your worst possible day and identifying specific actions to prevent each negative scenario. How? Well, let me show you in a short post on the Structure blog. You'll find the link there in the show notes. The other day I was pleasantly surprised. I have long wondered why Google has settled for keeping the built-in to-do list in Gmail and Google Calendar called Google Tasks with such limited features. Google usually has such high ambitions. Those who can freely choose digital tools are lucky. Many, however, are limited to using what is available as the default in the platform chosen by their employer, such as Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace. This was the case for the employees at the company I recently gave a lecture for. Of course, I wanted to share something great for those who work with Google Workspace. Google Keep has its merits, but beyond that, there's Google Tasks. Simplicity is great, but this tool quickly becomes challenging to manage when you have much to do. One problem with Google Tasks in its standard mode is that it is difficult to get a good overview of all tasks when there are more than just a handful, which there are if you use Google Tasks as your main to-do list. You can create multiple lists, but there's nowhere to see all tasks, regardless of which list they are on. The tool also lacks a search function that could show you all tasks of a particular type, for example. Well, whoever seeks shall find, especially on Google. I searched and I quickly found two Chrome extensions that enhance tasks into a more robust list tool. Perhaps they are something for you. And here's a caveat. You need to check if you can use them with your IT security manager. You may have limited permission to use Chrome extensions even. At least one of them has a bit of a home-built feel and I can't guarantee that they will be completely free from any issues. Anyway, the two are Tasks Board, where you can see your to-do tasks in columns on a board like a Kanban board, a format you may recognize from Trello and Microsoft Planner. You see a column for each list you have created in Google Tasks and you can easily drag tasks from one column or list to another. You can search through all tasks, and if you pay around $50 a year, you can share lists with others. You can add labels to tasks, you can choose stylish backgrounds like in Microsoft To Do, and create multiple boards. And the other tool is To Do for Google Tasks, which has borrowed its design from the popular Microsoft To Do. Here you can create separate lists for different projects, and add subtasks to a task that consists of several steps. Do this. If you're limited to using Google Tasks for your to-do tasks and, like me, find it lacking, consider Taskboard or To-Do for Google Tasks. I link to them both in the show notes. Perhaps one of them can help you get a to-do list that you enjoy using more. Because if you do what you can and are allowed to customize the tools you have access to, they will suit you better. Instead of having to deal with a source of irritation, which is mediocre tools, you can enjoy having the help you need from an app or an extension, to do your job in the best way possible. Have you found any other ways to improve Google Tasks? Please write to me and let me know. You can reach me at david at I'm curious to hear what you have to share. So feel free and email me. Thank you for today and see you again next week.